What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate guide to Scorpion as a cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm giving you some tips, tricks, and strategies, and of course some best character recommendations to pair him up with. Scorpion. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'll tell you right now, Scorpion is going to be an amazing cameo for two big reasons. One is combo extension with the fire breath we got and a great utility with an armored pullback and we'll go over all the uses for those. So like I said, our standard cameo move is a fire breath line for combo extension. As you can see, it's not really a meant for like on the ground hit, right? Like we're not going to be able to hit that on the ground. That's more or less for in the air. So basically in a combo, once you get your opponent in the air, that fire breath is going to be huge for combo extending. And I found it best to pair with special moves that don't normally combo extend. Like for an example, Raiden's down forward two. That doesn't normally combo extend unless we enhance it. Then we could. With the standard down forward two option, we use Scorpion. And now we can combo extend off of that. So it's a great move to help you combo extend off of moves that you normally couldn't, which is huge. Now down cameo puts Scorpion a bit further away. So if you know your combo pushes your opponent a bit further away, you might want to use down cameo instead of normal cameo. Now our up cameo puts Scorpion behind our opponent for the fire breath and basically pushes our opponent back towards us rather than away from us. And here's how that might look. So as you can see, Scorpion really gives you some awesome combo extension options. And I'll tell you right now, almost any character can benefit off of that, obviously. But one of the biggest moves he's got is our back cameo. And again, that's the rope pull for backwards, putting us at full screen. And that is huge because now you're deciding the spacing of the fight. You're just you're deciding the spacing of how far away you want to be from your opponent. And that, again, is massive, especially for characters that want to be far away, that want to be full screen to set up a trap or do an ability, something like that. In Raiden's case, I like to be pulled back to psych my opponent out thinking i'm full screen teleport psych now i'm in front of you just to play some mind games keep in mind that does have armor on it next our forward cameo is gonna be a great overhead option and it's a stun so if you do hit it you can actually continue the combo from there not only is it a stun option again it's an overhead so what that does is it kind of fills the void for a lot of characters that don't have overhead options or you can use it just for crazy mix up so for an example raiden's 4 2 2 4 combo is a combo that ends in a low so if your opponent reads that and they're blocking the first hit they might go oh they're gonna do a low suit i'm gonna crouch and block low but then i can use scorpion for the overhead option throw them off guard and continue the combo from there great for mix ups it's great for combo extension you get the stun if you hit it scorpion is a great option for combo extension for mix-ups and a utility to get away from your opponent and create the spacing that you want to create in a fight he's got so many great tools man i think he's a great cameo for almost any character i mean just look at this crazy combo potential you have with him as a cameo Though Scorpion is a great option for a lot of the roster in Mortal Kombat 1, there are a few characters that benefit a bit more, and that's characters that need overhead options, including characters like Katana, Sub-Zero as he only has really one main option, and then characters that need that full screen spacing to do a lot of their stuff, like Rain who wants to do traps and portals, Shang Tsung for the fireball game, and of course to change into his opponent, Lee Mei for lantern setups, Garrus to get time counters, Havoc so that way he can use his slow start of specials, and even Ashra so that way she can go dark to light or light to dark. As you can see, there are just a ton of character options when it comes to scorpion as a cameo but again these are just my recommendations guys let me know down below what do you think of scorpion as a cameo in mortal kombat 1 do you like him do you hate him subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and take it one step at a time